Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson and today we're going to continue with something about Castle Learning. I want to teach you how to create your own Castle Learning quiz. So the first thing you need to do is go on Castle Learning. So you should know how www.castlelearning.castlelearning.com and if you go on that site you're going to look up my class there it is, Dr. Robinson. Mathematics is our subject, so you go to Dr. Robinson's class. You'll have assignments there. So just click on that tab, and you'll see up here where it says courses. There'll be different assignments that you'll be assigned, and you just click on which class assignment uh, course that you would have, intermediate or mathematics course. But Instead of clicking on that as we normally do to go to the assignment, I want you to go further down here where it says select course study question mark review. So if you click on that question mark review, you're going to see something that comes up on the review for algebra. It says sections that you can create yourself. By clicking on that, you can now create sessions for classes of testing material for yourself. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to click the first one where it says create a new short answer session. So it's going to load information that you can click on and here are the topics that we will cover. So for example, here we're studying um, number sense. So if I click on the plus sign, it gives me all the topics on the number sense, like we were talking about rational numbers and integers not too long ago. So if I put a check mark in the box there, it'll give us questions on that. Maybe you were studying about fractions and percentages and decimals, so you can click that. Or scientific notation, square roots and powers, so you can click any of those boxes and it'll give you questions on that material. So there's a lot of material throughout the course of the year that we study and we will be studying. So if you would go through that material, you will see uh, by checking the box questions on there. The box on the bottom that says select additional criteria, there's levels, different levels of learning that should be checked from basic to high level questions. So that box should be checked so you can get different types of questions. There's a number of questions that you can choose from. Anywhere from 20 questions to 50 is a minimum for our class. We never choose 10, so we usually choose anywhere from a minimum of 20 all the way up to a maximum of 50. So it's default to 20. You should type in a topic of interest so that way we have information about what we're studying and what date that we studied that topic so that way when you might want to refer back to it you can go back to it it's multiple choice style questions that are in ABCD choice if you click on start the session it generates questions there are 20 questions here that you can choose from to do and here we can choose multiple choice questions and you can see by clicking on the question the different ones that are there so this is a good way to study it marks the questions that you do um, and when you type in your answers in the boxes it'll tell you if you're right or wrong as we usually do castle learning and this is your own quiz that you have taken on the liberty of making and creating yourself. So that's how you create a quiz. So I hope you got something out of this. And when you want to create a quiz, go to castlelearning.com, www.castlelearning.com. So I hope you enjoyed this little review. And thank you very much. This is Dr. Robinson signing out.